this Dan 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 Show Dan 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 Show Oh yeah Hello Sensible here I don't know what it is about punk rock and train spotting, but there's a lot of it about. No, seriously, some punk bands name themselves in rail themed fashion. Uh, there's Eastfield and uh, another lot I can't remember the name at the moment. And of course, I called my record label Deltic Records. Anyway, why am I waffling on about train stuff? Well, there was a period in time when the damned which makes its decisions as a democracy, one member, one vote, and all that, when the damned was comprised of three-fifths of the band being rail, rail enthusiasts, with Mr Vanian throwing his lot in with Stu and my good self. And thus the rail lobby had a majority, which didn't go down fabulously well with Monty, who only likes psychedelic things, um, and curry, Oh, and wine, how could I forget? And, uh, and poor old long-suffering Pinch, who would travel with the crew so he could painstakingly prepare his drum kit in ample time for the sound check at around 5.30. So when it got to 7pm and his colleagues still weren't there, he'd call the tour manager, barking down the phone in his inimitable fashion. Where the f*** are those and do you know what? There was a period when the three rail enthusiasts and poor old hijacked Monty would be somewhere like this. In this Van Houten's coffee shop, the waitress wore an eaten crop. Yeah. 